Hi, I'm Jim and this is a very exciting day for us today because we're going to lay a temporary patio using our new Fuga Pave ABC system. Today we'll be using the hybrid cement for the mortar and also the hybrid primer which is compatible with that mortar. I've got Paul with me from Signature Landscape, an award-winning landscaper and we're really really pleased to have him here today who's going to do this operation for us. The procedure for laying the paving with our mortar system is you would need a minimum of 100 millimeters of type 1 MOT. This has to be laid in two layers each of 50 millimeters and compacted at 50 and then at 100. So this is a heavyweight compactor and to comply with your normal PPE you must wear the protection and the ear defenders and also the gloves, it's very important. High vis and boots. Features around the outside that will be made by Aquacut. So we're now at the mixing stage, the hybrid cement and the sharp, clean or washed grit sand. The hybrid cement is very special because it contains all the polymers, the fibres and the plasticizers that make this system work. We're going to mix three buckets, 14 litres, to one bag of our hybrid cement. We put one bucket into the mix first, then half a bag, then another bucket, half a bag, and then the third bucket. We mix this first as a dry mix, so that we get all of the powder completely through the sand, and you don't see any of the powder in clumps in the mix before you add the water. So what you're looking for in the mix is no clumps of sand, no streaking and a real uniform dry screed looking mix. as I explained earlier, we've got a complete mix there, no streaking in it, nicely dispersed. two become together, wet on wet, that forms a monolithic bond, solid fixing. So start to mix the product now, put water in the bottom of the bucket, always wear the face mask. Use the 
simple battery drill. I like to make it so it's like a thick cream. How did you know that we rolled it in the bottom of the rock?
the next tile we're going to lay, we're going to show you how to use the leveling system. This is called the VEAT. Um, it's very helpful when you want to avoid lippage so that you're locking each tile adjacent to the next one down and perfectly flat. with a foot plate and then a screw cap that locks the surface of the tiles perfectly in the same plane. It's only one mil in its width so you still have to use the recommended spacers, no less than four millimeters, five preferably. This spacer completely flat. tools are going to actually walk onto the platform and see how many people we can get on here without there being a problem. So come on Nicola let's have you on. Come on, come on. And then Dan and Scott. Hi yeah. Followed by Mike. And then the big boy himself. Maybe. agree the first test was pretty simple but nevertheless effective. The next one is where we're going to drive this heavy Mercedes vehicle up the two ramps and park it on here. So come on Scott, let's have you. try something extreme now. What we're going to do is we're going to put pallets with the food and pave powder actually in them and we're going to stack them up and see how many we can go and be safe. So each of these pallets weighs one ton. I wouldn't suggest you do this at home but we've, uh, nevertheless we've had a go. So I think you'll see that that's pretty impressive. So the final part of our load bearing exercise going to drive the little flatbed truck on here. We've loaded two pallets of the Fuga Pave product on the back, so that will give us a more than a three ton loading on the paving. You'd agree, you 
wanted to install paving in an area where you want to drive vehicles on using the Fuga Pave system, perfect. So what I'm going to try to attempt to do now is using the trusty old Bulldog Spade, I'm going to try and lift one of these up. quickly go through the pieces of equipment that we're going to use today. Obviously we've got the Fuga Pave Flex CH Grab. This is a half bag, a little bit tatty, so apologies for that. Um, we've got the mixing paddle, just a small battery operated drill. The squeegee with the replaceable rubber on there. Small bucket trowel. Measuring vessel. Clean buckets. PPE, mask and gloves, and the two wash boys. So this is a hand wash boy, just simple to push around, move by hand, and a little float squeegee. And then we've got the pedalo system here, which is the more commercial uh, piece of equipment, has the big mop, and has the ability to clean large areas quickly, and very efficiently.
So with 40 is our hybrid cement pole. How did you find that with regard to ease of use? It's exactly the same as standard, standard cement. Um, it gives you peace of mind that you know when it sets, it's going to be 60 percent stronger than standard standard cement. Um, but the actual mixing process is exactly the same. You can have the same consistency to suit whatever mix that you want to lay with, whether that be wet or semi-wet or. So strength was important, um, it's easy to mix, uh, similar to sand and cement. Um, how about the ability to actually um, trowel it on the floor if you like? Exactly, it's the same as sand and cement, no difference. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, so uh, moving on to part B which is the hybrid primer, uh, which is used in conjunction with the party. Um, what would you say would be, how easy it is to, to use the part B? Primer, exactly the same, easy to mix. Um, seeing the fibres within the primer gives you that added peace of mind and reassurance that it's a product that's made specifically to bond with the uh, bed. So yeah, it's an amazing product. And uh, the part E and part B, you've seen, uh, well you've experienced how part E and part B creates a monolithic bond, what's your experience in the field? Do you feel it's a strong bond? Oh, yeah, amazing. I've tried to lift tiles um, and yeah, it's, it's got a, an amazing bond between the bed and the tile. Fantastic. And when we then look at the part C, which is the hybrid um, uh, grout uh, that we use, um, comes in five different colours. What's your experience of using the hybrid grout versus other uh, products that the landscapers might be using? Again, it's a brilliant product that is a lot easier than some exterior tile grouts to clean off, um, which is the main part, main issue when using tile adhesive. Um, and the actual strength of the product when it sets is brilliant. The, the Fuga Pave ABC was designed as a complete system. So, in just a few words, how would you describe that complete system then? It's, it's just it's a product that gives you as a contractor peace of mind that you're building a patio to last. Um, so, looking at it from the economics, because a number of landscapers um, are a bit, you know, they're traditionalists by nature, as we all are and uh, are a bit reluctant to move away from that sand and cement and SPR. Um, but you know, when, you, when you've been using the, the complete system, do you feel it's, it's economic versus the sand and cement side or more expensive or what, what's your experience? No, pretty much the, pretty much the same. Um, it can work out a little bit cheaper. But, um, for us as a contractor, the figure pave system has completely replaced traditional sand and cement on our installs. Um, we want to go back to traditional sand and cement, just giving us the peace of mind that we're installing patios to last. Great. Um, so, in danger of putting words in your mouth, um, the messages I'm getting, Paul, are um, it's got superior strength, 60% stronger than sand and cement. It's easy to use, at least as easy as sand and cement. Um, it gives you the reassurance that it's built to last because it, you can see the fibres and things in the product. Um, you've tried it, it's, it's proven its worth with regard to how strongly it's performing, but also economically, it's at most the cost of sand and cement, but generally speaking, you're actually finding it a bit cheaper. Uh, you've also got the added benefit in Part A and B is a lifetime guarantee, of course. Uh, which you don't get in sand and cement. Uh, I don't know how valuable people in the landscape industry see that. Is that something that would be of value, do you think? Yeah, definitely. Uh, and the curing time as well. The curing time is a lot quicker mm. uh, than traditional sand and cement. So that's a big factor as well. So you can get onto uh, the flags and, and so on very quickly. Yeah, yeah.